All right, it is here. We have our boxy charm for the month of August. I almost have said September and I don't know why. Maybe I'm just wishing 2020 away, whatever. I did not check the spoilers for this box. This is just the regular base box. Um, we did do that for September, but I haven't done it in the past. So that was our first month to do it. So I don't know what to expect with this. I did choose uh, the, I know I chose the Too Faced Born This Way foundation as my customization option. But other than that, I actually haven't even really checked their Instagram or seen a lot of the spoilers. So I don't know what to expect this month. Um, I am excited about getting a foundation though. So let us see without any further ado. Alrighty. So the first thing I have is of course the Too Faced uh, Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Con- Oh wait, it says it's a concealer. I thought it was the foundation. It's apparently a concealer. Okay. It's a big concealer though. I don't- I I've not tried any of two. Oh, it is a concealer. What? Wild. That is like the biggest packaging for a concealer I think I've just about ever seen. It literally, it looks like a foundation. I got it. I chose to get this because I've not tried any of Too Faced, any of their foundations or concealers. I've actually kind of been stepping away from Too Faced lately just because uh, there was a while I would pretty much buy all their release palettes and I don't dislike them. I just don't, they've done some shady things as a company. And so I'm just kind of like, I don't, I don't know. That's, that's beside the point. That's not what this video is about. But anyway, I saw this and I said, I, I personally am one who is very fond of the subscription services taking the risk in doing foundations and concealers because it is so hard to color match. And with this one, they let us choose the color that we wanted. I opted to get pearl. I think it'll be a pretty decent fit. It, it was a little, wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but a lot of the colors had already been sold out by the time I got to it. So yeah, I am very excited about that one. Um, I'm excited to test it out and see if it's good or, or not. And yeah. The, oh, the next thing, I don't know. I don't know that I've ever gotten one of these in a, maybe if it's, if I have, it's been a really long time. This is the Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer from Elizabeth Mott. I like Elizabeth Mott. I don't have a lot of her stuff, but I am a fan. And it's just a good size eyeshadow primer. Um, I, that's a good product in my opinion. Like I said, I can't remember the last time I received one of these in any subscription service. And um, I actually am running really low on eyeshadow primer right now, so perfect. Uh, yeah, so I like two, two good products in my opinion so far. All right, next thing we have is Clarins Paris, which I believe is a skincare company. Um, their 01 Velvet Lip Protector. Or no, Perfector. Oh, reading's hard. And I'm trying to decide, cause I, I do, I know, Clarins, the only thing, oh God, there's like one hair that's just in my nostril and it's very uncomfortable. Oh, like don't, could you not? I'm about to cut it off. I got scissors right here. Anyway, back to the lip stock, lip stock, lipstick, with lip treatment, whatever this is. I'm trying to figure that. That's what we're trying to figure out. I think this is actually a colored lipstick or a lip gloss. It is, and it's got one of those nice like little felty tips, which I really like. Um, it's in like this nice kind of like neutral shade, but I didn't, and I honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't realize that Clarins did makeup. I, I really, the only thing I've used from them has been like, I've used a couple creams and a couple washes, like face washes and stuff like that. So I didn't know that. I'm very intrigued by this. I think just from what we've gotten so far, I think this will be a good box to do like a full look with. I think there's a lot that you can do with it. So interesting. Okay, the next thing we have is a Mud Masky in the Specialized, it's their Specialized Sear. I really can't talk today. I feel like I can't talk in any video, but today is especially bad. Their Specialized Series, and this is a Blue Light Protection Mask and it helps shield harmful high energy uh, from blue lights. So like your, your laptop, your cell phones. What an interesting concept for a mask. I'm trying to figure out, they're, they're calling it a mask, but I'm almost wondering if it's actually like a cream that you wear under your makeup or you wear it all the time. It is, wow, that is wild. So this is literally a, it's a full day use mask. You wear it and it is supposed to protect you from the blue lights on your TVs, your computers, your laptops or tablets or smartphones. That is so, normally I am like, uh, about masks, I get so many of them, but this to me is like, what a 
freaking wild concept for a product. I didn't even know something like this was out here. I'm really, I'm really tempted to, to like start testing it out immediately. I, why, why wouldn't I, honestly? I think I'm gonna start using it tomorrow so I can get a feel for it. I'm wondering how it does under your makeup. I'm assuming, I mean, obviously this is a beauty subscription box, so they have to assume that it's the people wearing this is, are probably going to be wearing makeup on top of it. So I'm guessing it's gonna work just kind of like, like a nice little sunscreen under your, your base and everything, but wow, what a cool concept. I'm gonna look into this. I did not realize this was a thing. That's so, that's my mind is so blown by this. All right, the next thing I have is the Butter London Teddy Boy palette. All right, he's a pretty little cool toned palette. I like him. Not necessarily colors that I would gravitate towards normally. And actually, now that I think about it, I think that there was actually a Violet Voss palette that I remember seeing. I think those were the only like spoilers I saw and I wanted the Violet Voss palette more. Ying, you're not gonna win them all, it's fine. But uh, but still really pretty palette. There's a lot of really nice kind of like purpley blue tones. I normally gravitate towards purples, but not really the blues. It's a very gray based palette and I think that's why it's probably one. I say that as there's like five brown shades, but I just, I don't know how to explain it. Am I, did you understand what I'm saying? Like looking at it aesthetically? Cause it shouldn't be blue toned, but it is blue toned in the way I'm seeing. <laughs> I'm losing it. Very, very pretty palette. There's a lot of good stuff that you can do with it, I think. I, I really think this box is highly conducive to doing like a, let's do a full face review and see how we like all the products, which I'm really excited about. That to me is a great box. I I like this one. I'm happy with this, especially since I really didn't know what to expect. I was kind of like, could be great, could be terrible. You, yeah, I've got a good variety of stuff. And you guys know with me, especially, I like, makeup heavy boxes and that's what this is you've got makeup heavy and then the one skincare product i got is one that's like crazy cool to me just absolutely mind-blowingly wild so i'm really actually into i'm into this box i like it we were just talking the other day because we did a year subscription when they changed the price and i believe that's up in october um like i think october will be our last month for it and obviously we're gonna renew boxy we've had boxy for a while and i still really genuinely enjoy it even though some months are not the best but yeah but we were talking about it and i was like Hmm, would I do another full year, like commit to another full year? And I think I would, especially after seeing this box. I do have to say the Lux, the last Lux we got was a little disappointing, but their boxes have consistently impressed me this year. So not too bad. Let us do the price breakdown though, because they still do that. Ipsy Plus has taken that away, which now, now I can't really complain that much about it because they've now gotten to the point where they're you're doing your own customization, so you're choosing your own product, so you see like what they are, and I think the retail price is listed when you choose it as well, so that kind of fixed that problem. But for a while, we just didn't have a list at all, and I was a little bit like, mm, about that, so. All right, let us, let me stop rambling. Let us go down the list and figure out how much this box is worth. So our Too Faced Born This Way concealer is $29. I personally wouldn't pay that for a concealer because I buy everything on sale, but that is absolutely what I would think that they retail it at. So yes, so cool. The Butter London palette is $28. Pretty decent little price for it. Once again, because there's only nine shades, I doubt I would ever pay full price for it, but I would definitely think that that would be a reasonable retail value for it. Um, the Clarins Velvet Lip Protector, um, which is a matte finished lipstick. So very lightweight, supposed to be like able to be worn and, and, and maintained throughout the day. This little guy is $26. And like I said, I'm very interested to test him out too, but mainly because I like the applicator a lot, but I feel like with those applicators after a while, they get kind of gunky, if that makes sense. So I'm interested about that one. The Mud Masky Blue Light Protection Mask is a retail value of $54. I'm gonna be dead knowing skincare prices and this technology, I would honestly, as much as I don't normally spend on skincare, I would actually consider paying $54 because I wanna know what the hell this does. I'm so intrigued by it. And the fact that they've included in the box is like, this to me, the skincare item's not normally my favorite. I think this is actually my favorite because I'm just so blown away by like the whole cons. I'm like, wow, what the hell? Like I know there's blue light protection out there. Like I know contacts and stuff have it, but I just didn't realize that you could like, make a face mask that's supposed to actually do that. How do we test it? I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to test it at all. It could, they could, it could just be a cream and they're just like, it, yeah, it protects against blue light, don't you worry, but I am fully enthralled in it. So I am all about that. 
And then our final product is, of course, our Elizabeth, no, nope, that's the wrong one. Our Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Eye Primer, or Eyeshadow Primer, which is a $20 value. Once again, I think that's a more than reasonable price. That's $157 value for the box. Um, even if you think that the, the mask is a little bit overpriced, like I said, I, normally I will call things up for when I feel like they're too high priced in their like retail value. I don't think that that's too high priced, but even still you would have to think of the, even if it, you're knocking down like 20 bucks off of it or whatever, this is still well over what they promise us, which I believe is $125, $120. I don't remember. It's, it's It was a good box in my opinion. I'm very happy with this one. I am, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this month. I hope that BoxyCharm continues. Um, like I said, their next month is Lux. I'm very worried about it. I did choose my customization items. I was not thrilled with the choices I was given, which I wasn't thrilled with the choices I was given the last Lux either, and it wound up being incredibly disappointing in my opinion. So we'll have to see. I'm not gonna prejudge it. Um, actually, based on the spoilers I saw for September, we did a video kind of comparing the different spoilers for Ipsy and BoxyCharm. I didn't see the premium box, but I did see the, the spoilers for the base box, and I really liked everything they were offering for that. So I hope the Lux is good. Um, I know I chose the skincare item of some kind, I don't remember what, and then I chose, I actually chose a sleeping mask because I work in the middle of the night and I sleep really weird hours. A lot of times it's in the middle of the day when the sun is up, and I've been talking about trying to get a sleep mask, and I was like, you know what? Like, and I say sleep mask, not like a face mask, like a, you put it over your eyes and you can, like it blocks out the light, so. And this was a weighted one, and I was like, I'm gonna try that. So not something I would normally choose, but I, I am interested and I'm excited about getting that, but I'm just, um, I'm intrigued to see what next month's Lux looks like. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the box. Um, like I said, for something I didn't know what to expect with, I'm very satisfied. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you should consider doing that. We are so close to hitting a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited about that. Um, I think I'm probably gonna plan a giveaway sometime soon. With COVID, everything's a little, I don't like wanna send you guys, like I don't wanna mail the winner or something and like, I don't know. I'm just, that's all like weird to me right now. So like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to be like the cause of anybody getting sick by like for some horrible reason. So that's, I don't, I haven't decided what I'm going to do about that yet. There will be a giveaway celebrating our thousand subscriber milestone. I just don't know when it's coming. That was the whole point of that. So yeah, consider subscribing. Other than that, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.